these products, I don't even know what I would do without them right now. Like, I know that sounds really ridiculous and really overly dramatic, but I am overly dramatic, so just deal with it. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, hello, my name is India. I run British Beauty by India here on YouTube. So you have come to my three month Tretinoin update and you are more than welcome to watch it. However, if you would like to see this from the beginning, I will link my playlist up here where you can quite literally binge weekly. Or did give weekly updates when I began. Anyway, so for you guys returning, I do hope that your journey is going well and I hope you are excited about this three month mark I feel like the three month mark is a big mark for some reason. This is what I've been aiming from. From the very beginning, I was like, just get to the three month mark. And now that I'm here, I'm not entirely sure why I was aiming so highly for it. Hmm. <laughs> so, <clears throat> before I start the video properly, I am gonna say a couple of things as always, you know me. So I am planning on doing monthly updates from now on and for the foreseeable future because my skin just is not there yet. I don't know what I was thinking about this three month mark. I was like, yes, three months and my skin is going to be freaking amazing. No, no, it's not. We're not there yet. However, we will get to a skin update in a little bit. Do not worry. I have things to say. It's not as doom and gloom as I have just made it sound and I'm not entirely sure why I made it sound so doom and gloom. On a more positive note, Let's go for positivity from now on. I am happy that it hasn't actually been that easy, this journey, because I think it's more of a realistic, accurate representation of such a strong, potent cream. And I'm glad that you've literally been with me through the shit. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. As you know, that's it for my weekly updates. However, if you do head over to my Instagram there, I update all the time about everything, so do not worry. If you are gonna miss me weekly, my Instagram is this is India Madeline. I do quite literally update you on my entire life. Today, there was a squirrel involved. But also, on Instagram, that is where I give you guys the opportunity to get involved in videos that are upcoming. I ask for help for ideas, yada yada yada, but more importantly, I also notify you when I'm about to upload. So, think it over. Obviously, if you are liking my journey and you would like to see more, you know I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button and obviously the notification bell because then you're going to be notified when I finally upload my monthly updates from now on. Okay, so today's video. Today's video is a skin update, obviously. But I also thought I'd give you a rundown of like my ride or die products that I have found for the first three months of your tretinoin journey because I feel like I had to change a lot. Not only did I have to change a lot, I had to try a lot of things because my skin was just changing what I felt like on a weekly basis. So now that I've got to this three month mark and I do genuinely feel that my skin has settled down a lot, I feel like these are my staples. So I wanna to talk to you about them. Yes, they are obviously going to be products that I have spoken to you about in previous weekly updates, but now I'm just gonna go put it all together and I'm gonna go boom, shading. This is it, boom, shading. <laughs> even know where that just came from. I am sorry. And then at the end, I thought I would give you my daily skin routine because I have been sticking to it like an actual newfound religion. I have to, it's just one of those things that if I want my skin to look like this, then I have to keep on going and it is stringent and I have to be on it. The days of easy skincare, of cleansing and moisturizing, are gone mm -hmm, for the foreseeable future and I'm sure if you're on this journey with me you understand where I'm coming from. It's not easy and there is definitely a commitment to be made. Okay right so my skin update. You will see my skin without makeup in a little bit. I didn't actually do any footage I just completely forgot. The reason why this actual video is later than I planned it to be late is because my skin just broke out so bad. I know I'm purging, but it just got really extreme. It was that time of the month, and then like this bit got really sore again, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself three days, get this shit under control. So as you can see, <coughs> this is me obviously with makeup. There's no filter on my camera, there's, you know I don't do that anyway. And I know I'm wearing makeup, but you have to understand, I wear makeup a lot. And if you guys wear makeup a lot, and especially if you're going through this like whole situation, makeup's quite hard to actually wear during this situation. You've got peeling skin, you've got purging, you've got loads of texture. But I just want you to take a minute and see how nice <laughs> does my skin look right now. 
Like, I'm sorry, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm finally like, oh my god. I always, because I've got such a big mouth. I have really deep smile lines. And today, when I was doing my makeup, now when I put my makeup on, I always feel like this is always going to be the most obvious because that's where just the makeup creases there. So it's always highlighted. I just want to say, they are so less prominent than they usually are. And my skin is just so less texturized than it has been for ugh, literally probably like the two weeks in of this journey. Like my skin went through it and I'm just finally, I really hope, like I don't want to jinx it because I'm saying it, but I really hope that I'm now seeing like the back end of this purge because it was full on, as you guys know. I have still got breakouts here. They are just not budging. And for some reason I've got breakouts on my neck. I want to just say that my skin update for my three month point is bloody positive because I'm happy with my skin. I think that's just like the best thing I can say right now is that I'm actually happy with it at the moment because for the longest time, I felt like I was not happy and I did not want to go out. Basically embarrassed actually, that is literally it in a nutshell. I was embarrassed about my skin. I haven't been embarrassed about my skin for many, many years now. So it was a lot. The purge was a lot for me emotionally. <laughs> But just know this, if you are going through something very similar and you feel similarly to me, there is an end to this. You just have to see it through, okay? So, let's talk about products because I really feel like these products, I don't even know what I would do without them right now. Like, I know that sounds really ridiculous and really overly dramatic, but... I am overly dramatic, so just deal with it. So first off, I want to talk to you about cleansing because during the time of my purge and just the just general retinization process that I'm going through, my skin became so sensitive. Now, I've never had sensitive skin. That's just not something, a word that I ever use to describe my skin ever. And everything that I had to wash my skin take my makeup off, everything like that became void because it would sting so bad. Like, and there was actually one point in one product, I actually got chemical burns from it. And this was supposed to be a calming, gentle, hydrating product. And it quite literally gave me chemical burns. So when I say sensitive, I mean sensitive. So first off, I am gonna mention wipes because I hate wipes. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know, but I can't actually live without wipes at the same time because when I go to work and I have all my makeup, first thing I quite literally do before I leave my building is I take my makeup off because I wear such heavy full coverage makeup for work. I need to take it off immediately. Also because I film and when I film a lot, sometimes I just want to sit downstairs because I've been away from my toddler for so long and she's like, no, do you think you can be away from me for this amount of time and then come downstairs, say hi and then bugger off to take your makeup? No. Yeah, so sometimes I just have to sit downstairs and take my makeup off wipes. Now, the wipes I always used to use is the Nivea biodegradable ones because I just felt like if I'm going to use wipes, can I try and do the wipes the better way? But they stung too bad. I literally, I think I used them once. They burnt my face off. I was like, okay, I'll, you know, give it one more go and burnt my face off again. So I have to say that I recently got these. And these are Nivea as well. My favorite will always be Nivea. These are the Daily Essential Sensitive Wipes. They have 0% alcohol and no perfume, which I feel like Nivea is very heavily fragranced, and they have nothing, they don't smell like anything, but they do take your makeup off, which is, they're not just baby wipes. <sighs> Thank you, Nivea. So I did want to just mention those, because I know there are people out there that are like, I can't not have makeup removal wipes, which is fine, we no judgment, I am the same. Obviously though, the best way I think you should take your makeup off is in micellar water. Now before this, I was using Garnier oil, micellar water, and it burnt my face off. So I went back to the Bioderma one. Now this is the Bioderma Sensi Bio <laughs> H2O. I'm not entirely sure what you say, but it's the pink one. You can get a blue bottle and you can get a pink bottle. Now the pink bottle is for sensitive skin. This is the best thing known to man when it comes to cleansing skin. I mean, genuinely, it really is the best. Like, I shouldn't have to say much about this because I feel like this comes with its own cult following. Genuinely, this is the best thing, without a doubt. Whether you're sensitive or not, this is what you just need, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go on to cleansers because I quite literally, I do use another cleanser, as you know, I use the La Roche Posay one, but I don't really wanna talk to you about that because it is 2% salicylic acid. And it's just something that I think you should not use in your, your first three months. I know I did, but I'm talking about at the very end of the three month mark. So that's gonna come later when your skin has kind of been 
toughened up a little bit. Obviously I love my Emma Hardy Moringa Balm and if I sat here and said that I did not use that I would be quite literally lying. So obviously I do use that however I do understand that it comes with like a £50 price tag and it's very unrealistic for the majority of people at the moment and it is unrealistic for me. I have finished it and I have not repurchased it because I cannot justify spending £50 in this climate and also in the run up to Christmas. It's just not okay. So, you know this is actually in my other ride or die cleansing balm. Now, I don't just use this for makeup remover. I use this for a cleansing. This is so gentle on the skin. This is never ever gonna sting you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I just feel like you don't want anything to strip the skin. You don't want any soaps. You don't want any perfume. You don't want anything, anything like that. You wanna say, you wanna stay to more the hydrating side. Now, I know in one video I showed you the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I'm not showing you that today because that actually did burn my face off and I don't know why but I can't sit here and say that that's good and for sensitive skin when it did not do that for me. So I'm going to say this. This is one of the best ones and at the moment it is £5 in Sainsbury's so you can thank me later. Now the next one is actually a very new find for me and I love this in the mornings. When I say a new find I mean quite literally in the last couple of weeks because I very stupidly went away and didn't bring this so I had to go and buy something. Now where my parents live in Portugal they don't have like boots they have like pharmacies now in their pharmacies they strictly sell french pharmacy so i was like crap i'm gonna have to spend so much money i'm glad i actually did as much as it hurt my heart in the moment i'm glad i did because this is beautiful for a morning cleanse and it doesn't strip your skin but it doesn't leave any residue it doesn't just, it's just a beautiful cleanser so this is the cordially moisturizing grape and sweet almond oil cleansing oil this was 16 euros i'm really sorry i actually don't know how much it is in this country but yeah this has become a favorite of mine i was using this morning and night it did my skin a world of good it was so beautiful so moisturizing but no residue plus this is a hundred percent natural and it's obviously cruelty free and vegan and yada 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 which is quite hard to find when it comes to like cleansing balms or cleansing oils i have tried quite a lot of the natural cleansing balms because that's the road i want to go down and genuinely this is the first one that has not left a residue of like cocoa butter on my face so i really do love this and i really do recommend it so okay on to i'm gonna have to talk to you about the purge because like it was such a serious serious problem for me and you know I was trying out my salicylic acid and I was trying out salicylic acid toners and because I stuck so strictly to salicylic acid beforehand to control my breakouts like my hormonal breakouts that's what I automatically went to and to be honest with you I just don't think salicylic acid is something that you should be using in your first three months whether you like it or not and that's just a very bitter pill that I have to swallow because I love it and I genuinely believe it works and I'm just hoping that going forward as I've now started with my wash I can slowly reintroduce it into my skincare regime because <laughs> I miss it. So I'm going to talk to you about two products these are nothing new on this channel but as I'm sticking very strictly to the ride or die products that I would not be able to live without through this three months I'm going to have to mention them again. So first off obviously is my benzoyl peroxide gel now this is acne side this is the only benzoyl peroxide product that you can get here in the uk i've just realized this is actually not even in english because i didn't buy this in england you can get this here by the way this is just i just ran out of it in portugal and had to buy one there but this is available on boots and it is available in superdrug and superdrug actually literally have it on the shelves i think boots you still have to go and ask for it like over the counter at the pharmacy now when coming to use benzoyl peroxide alongside tretinoin there are a couple of things that you need to know first off please do never ever 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 use benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin together and when i say together i mean you put on your tret and then you put on benzoyl peroxide that is a sure sure road down to chemical peel third degree burns end up in a and e kind of situation these are two ingredients that are never supposed to mix so when using benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin together you use benzoyl peroxide in the morning and tretinoin at night now depending on how your skin reacts to it use it on your days off and then have a day off and then use your tret like you have to keep them separated at all costs now as you'll see in my routine i can literally use this in the morning for 
hours during the day and then use my tretinoin at night my skin can handle that but there has been times when my skin has become more sensitized during this three month period and i had to give myself a day off in between using benzoyl and then tretinoin so please just listen to your skin because it will tell you trust me However, this is quite literally the only thing that has stopped me from stopping Tretinoin and The Purge because it's the only thing that has kept it at bay. It does not take it away, it has kept it at bay. But usually, before this whole thing, this usually dried, literally dried up my breakouts in like overnight and that was it. But Tretinoin Purge is a lot more serious than your average hormonal breakout. So the next product I'm going to talk to you is the Skinnerin 20%. I call it azelaic acid, I'm not entirely sure that's exactly how you pronounce it. Let's go in with my benzoyl peroxide in the morning, wash it off, put this on, do my makeup, whatever, wash it off, and then obviously go in with my tret in the evening. That seems a lot, but it does work for me. Now, the reason I'm going to mention this is because I don't think this is as potent as the benzoyl peroxide, but it is potent, so please use with caution. After saying that, it is prescription only. However, I will link it all down below. The Boots Acne Clinic online will prescribe it for you, and you can do the whole questionnaire online. It gets approved and prescribed, and then you can go pick up in store the following days. I don't understand why this this is prescription and this is not. I just don't get it because this is so much stronger. However, this can irritate your skin, okay? So even though I'm saying it's not as strong, it is still strong. These two ingredients are fucking strong, okay? <laughs> Again, please never ever combine this with tretinoin. Use it like you use the benzoyl peroxide if need be, okay? Never layer these products together in any way shape or form. Now the reason I love the azelaic acid so much is because this has kind of taken up the mantle of where my Paula's Choice would have come into play. I can use this under makeup and I feel like it's doing something while I'm wearing makeup instead of just not anything at all because I can't use this under makeup. This has to be worn completely alone. But this works really well. I've not had an issue with any of my products at all. Moisturizers, toners, foundations, primers, nothing has bothered this. However, when you're going to just leave it on your skin like that, just use it sparingly because I have had moments where I'm like an hour or two hours in, I've got full face of makeup, I'm like, I'm itching. Like, itching. And it's burning. And obviously I'm out and I'm like, well, I can't bloody do anything because I'm out and I'm not going to start taking off my makeup. So please just use it sparingly. When you come to use it, use it when you are in complete control of it, as in in your house and if it starts burning or itching you can wash it off and then just work out your skin's tolerance to it and also give your skin time to learn how to tolerate it you know what i mean i'm a bit lost for words today clearly but yes it is these two that have saved me from this purge a hundred million trillion percent i don't know what i would do without it okay so moisturizing now this is no joke if you're on the same journey you know how seriously dry your skin can get especially God help me, especially if you are purging and using these kinds of products alongside Tret. Your skin is just like in one sheet of skin. Right, I just need to organise my moisturising things into sections because they're all different, all different uses. I have one moisturiser because this one moisturiser has genuinely been the best find. And I know you guys, if you're returning, you know what I'm about to say. But this moisturiser... I love it. This is the La Roche Posay Fclar H Multi Compensating Soothing Moisturizer for Long Lasting Comfort. So, according to La Roche Posay's website and actually Boots' website, this was quite literally formulated for skin that is undergoing acne treatment, i.e., benzoyl peroxide, reaccutane, tretinoin, you like the lot. And holy shit, <laughs> does it work? I just think this is the nicest, calming, weirdly, because it's very, very heavily fragranced moisturizing moisturizer ever when it comes to this kind of skin. Now the thing is, there's very heavy moisturizers you can get, obviously. You know I love my La Retro Whipped Cream by Drunk Elephant. That is a beautiful moisturizing moisturizer. However, it's very thick, it's very oily, and it's not for everyone. This dries down a dream, but it keeps your skin hydrated and bouncy. That is what you need in this kinds of situations because we can't all walk around like an oily mess even though we need to, quite literally, and want to because that's how seriously compromised our skin barrier is. That's where this comes into play because this is like every day I need to actually be able to leave the house kind of moisturiser. It's bloody brilliant. 
amazing. So the next kind of moisturizer I want to talk to you about is this is the Avene Sequelfate uh, Restorative Protective Cream. Now I don't know what I would have done without this at certain times because there's been times where I'm dealing with serious, it's quite serious, well you've seen it, my dermatitis flared up, like my skin barrier has just been non-existent because I have basically dissolved it with my acids. This is where this has come into play because I feel like this heals and it creates a barrier. It's a basically a nappy cream for your face and it's bloody brilliant because because I was scared about when I first bought this and I saw it and it's like pure white. <laughs> I was like, great, I've just literally bought a nappy cream for my face. But it's not. It goes on white, but it dries down really. It does dry down oily, but it does not dry down white. It does not give you a white cast. That's why this is so good, because you can literally leave the house. You can put this on, then this on, and it, this heals, this moisturizes, this protects. It's just a match made in heaven, okay? A match made in utter heaven, and I just feel like my skin, oh. It's just, we're just so thankful for this cream. Even sometimes at night and I just feel sore and like, ow. I've put that on, like slathered it on. And the next morning my skin has just been so much less sensitive. Like I genuinely feels like it heals it. It's amazing. So there's two other products that I want to talk to you about kind of in the everyday kind of moisturizing range but they're not for everyone which is why I've kind of left them to the end and these are quite new for me but they're not because you know I love my drunk elephant but if you've seen my last update you'll know that my daughter emptied the entire contents onto my freaking sofa and herself. So I bought a cheaper version. So they are new, but they're not new. I love a beauty oil, and I really think that a beauty oil for during this kind of time is just necessary. So I bought these. These are both the ordinary. So one is 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, and the next one is 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. Now I must say, this is basically a identical version of the drunk elephant one. It's just five pounds instead of 35 pounds. Um. So yes. I like to use this when I can sit there and be really oily, I don't care. But I actually use this on a day-to-day -day basis under my makeup. I just feel like these give me that extra added moisture, especially when I'm putting on full coverage foundation and the powder and then all that. It just makes it that much less likely to crack basically. I'm not going to go too much into the rosehip seed oil because I haven't been using it that long enough to see the actual full effects of rosehip oil. I have used it in the past and really 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 loved it and the reason I've loved it is because it just doesn't break me out and it's very hard to find oils that don't obviously break you out when you're dealing with just that kind of skin. You know what I mean. I do highly recommend these for everyday use and I feel like I can highly recommend these because they're literally five pounds each. They're like diddly squat. The next one is more treatments. So the first cream that I'm gonna mention is my steroid cream. Now it's not steroid at 0.05% of Clobus Clobetasone butyrate, which apparently is a steroid. And the reason I'm mentioning it is because I, I do, I'm going to mention this later on in my routine because it is something I use quite literally daily. What was happening is obviously my dermatitis flared up. I think originally it was my dermatitis because it came on one side and I know this sounds really weird, but when my dermatitis comes, it's quite literally there and that's it. But then what I was realizing is as I continued to do stuff, which I wasn't really realizing I was doing, it was starting to spread. It started to come here and then here. And I was like, why? So I started to Google it a lot. And I think I was quite literally causing it was with all my products. And it was this cream that literally just takes it away. Now, the reason I'm gonna mention this is because you can get it on prescription, but you can also get it over the counter, like you don't need to go to see your doctor. It's helped my skin so much when I've had like that kind of reaction to it. And I want you guys to know this is what literally saved me. Now, am I saying if that's what you're dealing with, go out and buy this? No, but what I am saying, this is the cream. I will link it down below. Please do your own research. Okay, so the next two products are obvious. I'm going to say Vaseline because Oh, please don't ever use Vaseline on its own. Like, Vaseline has actually quite literally nothing in it for your skin. The reason that Vaseline is so good, and this has been used for quite literally years and years by dermatologists, is because it is a very thick, occlusive layer, and it can help 
repair the skin underneath. However, the reason I love it so much, especially when you're using tretinoin, is because you know when you get those horrible sore dry patches, sore dry patches of skin, this is genuinely what takes it away. What I do is I go in with my skincare, hyaluronic acid moisturizer, and then I'll put this over it, and it just locks everything in. I just feel like my product works so much better because they're not evaporating into the air. Does that make sense? I have to say that if you're about to start your journey, just get some Vaseline. Don't ever use it on its own, please. I know like this whole slugging thing is taking off. Rightly so, it's very good, but I've seen some crazy shit, like people just using Vaseline, like that's not the point. Unless you've got like a wound or a chemical peel or something like that, but we're not obviously dealing with that. We're dealing with skin barrier problems. So please put something active on under it, i.e. ceramides, peptides, hyaluronic acid, anything that's gonna actually help your skin and then lock it in with this. The next thing that I've left because it is genuinely the best, best product I think I have actually found in this entire situation, or the actual Tretino in itself, because I do love that. This is it. So this is the Eucerin Aquaphor Soothing Skin Balm. I love this so much. I have one in my bathroom, I've got one in my nightstand, one in my handbag, and one in my nappy bag, and then this one, which is the nearly finished one that's just been floating around. I don't know what to say about this other than it's just like a miracle. It's one of those things that, I don't know, it's just bloody amazing. It's the best lip balm I've ever found. Literally this. This is what saves my skin. Because obviously I can't put tretinoin anywhere near that area now. So I use this as a barrier. But not only do I use this as a barrier, it also quite literally heals my skin underneath it. This is just the best thing known to mankind. It's just an everything cream. This all over my face. It's like the best hydrating face mask ever. This is the best overnight cream ever. If you don't listen to anything about anything of any of my products, listen to this. Just listen to this. That is definitely all my products. However, there is one thing I want to mention before we go on to the next part is that 100% you need a flannel. I know that sounds really weird. And when I say flannel, I mean like quite literally a flannel, not a microfiber towel or a microfiber like cloth thing like the makeup remover ones because they're actually a bit too soft. I mean like a bog standard cotton flannel because when you're your skin starts to peel gives you that exfoliation without the harshness because when you kind of start cleansing and you feel like your skin like start balling up and you're like oh my god that's my skin coming off in my hands that flannel is going to be that extra wipe away does that make sense just just get flannel you'll thank me for it so that is it for products as always everything i have said are easy to get they will all be listed down below, including where I get my tretinoin from. So, next up is my routine. Now, this is a high maintenance routine. The routines that you're about to see is, is the most that I will ever do in one day because of certain situations, i.e. like today I've done my makeup and whatever, so there's gonna be that extra step of makeup remover and whatever, but I just wanted to show you like the full shebang because hey ho, we might as well. So, go, go and enjoy that and I will see you guys after. Jeez, So I don't wash my face first thing because I only like to wash my face once in the morning because it's a bit extreme to do it twice. So I literally go in with my micellar water and just wipe off last night's whatever I put on my face. <laughs> it changes from night to night as you know. I let that dry for a minute. Sort my hair out big time. <laughs> So first off, I uh, go in with like my eczema cream, dermatitis cream. It's called You Movate. You Movate. Anyway, as you know, I'm suffering really badly with my dermatitis here, so I like to just layer it on in the mornings. So about three days ago, this was so bad. So for the last three days, I've literally only worn this on my face. And I put it on multiple times a day, as you can see, like this cream is really finished. It's just literally the only thing that works. That's that bit done. The next, I'll go in with my benzoyl peroxide. This is the Acne Side 5% Gel. I use this at the moment like a spot treatment. Like I won't keep this on my face for a long period of time, as you will see. <laughs> and it's the only thing that keeps this purge at bay. As you can see, I put a lot on. If you burn these, it goes out. And then it's literally, yeah, my breakouts actually have got so much better. Right, there we go. And last up, this has got nothing to do with video, but I'm just going to be 
100% transparent. This is the Eclat, Eclat Eyelash Growth Serum. I found it on Amazon. It's like seven quid. It's absolutely nothing. Have I seen a difference? No, I haven't. But it's not been that long. I think I started it on the 16th of November. I actually wrote it down so I know, like, when I did it. But yeah, anyway. I literally put this on twice a day without fail because I'm dedicated to the cause. Right, there we go. So I'm gonna leave this on while I do my morning chores, which consist of God only knows what, but I'll see you after. I know I said like an hour and it's been about five. But I'm gonna wash my benzoyl peroxide off and my steroid cream. This is my favorite product in the morning. I just think it's so beautiful. This is the Cordially Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. It's moisturizing grape and sweet almond oil. It's all natural and it's just so gentle. It's been that long, it's actually dark outside. <laughs> I didn't mean to take that long. I've just got so much to do at the moment. It's just, ah, oh, I don't even know. Where does the time go? Right, wash that off. There we go. Right. I like to put my products on a damp face. Okay, so first up to do is obviously my Alpha H. This is the Hyaluronic 8 with Prima Ultra Filler. I can never pronounce that word. It's sorry. I love to put it on my lips. It really does make all the difference, by the way. I know that's not relevant to the video, but while we're here. So for moisturizer, I'm obviously going to be using my La Roche Posay. This is the Effaclar H. We know what this is. So one of my favorite things to do at the moment, because I'm dealing with quite dry, dry skin at the moment, because obviously I'm trying to tackle my breakouts of benzoyl peroxide and obviously try it is peeling my skin away. And especially like now, because I'm going to go obviously and do my makeup because this is me getting ready for the video you're currently watching. I love these products. So these are the ordinary. I've got 100% cold pressed virgin ruler oil and I have 100% organic cold pressed rosehip oil. Now literally I use one drop of each, mix it and then put it on my face. <laughs> that added extra kind of little boost of moisture just beautiful and these by the way if you're like wondering with makeup they work really well under makeup it just makes especially if you're using high coverage like i do all the time and how do i literally a drop of each and you mix it in my hands therapist hands as we like to say and i literally oh press that on to my skin Oh, and it just gives that extra boost, especially in these bloody winter months. And it's blooming chilly now outside. It's really, really, really got there. Got there. Got to winter. Funny that. It's December. <laughs> there we go. That is me done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go do my makeup, film the video you're watching, and then I thought I'll show you how I take off my makeup and then all that jazz. So I know you're probably thinking like, why are you filming taking your makeup off? Well, let me just tell you, it's like the most important part. If you're dealing with breakouts, purging, anything like that, skin problems, you need to take your makeup off, like no joke. And when I say makeup off, I mean every scrap, everything off. So this is what we do. I'm going to speed it up because like, obviously I know this is not that interesting, but I just want you to see the steps that I go to and that you should go to to take your makeup off. So, one of these little things, buy a derma, shitloads of it. Got to take it all off. This is the next step, yeah? Come to the little natural sponge. You need to get the little sponge damp and I literally scoop it out. Still makeup, see? That's how important a double cleanser is. I always just get a scoop on my fingers. And then obviously your eyes. 
to take it off, I like to use these little things, not my proper flannels, because it just, well, I think it's easy, and then this can just go in the wash. I don't know if you can see that, because it's lighting in here is really bad, but there's still so much makeup coming off. Right, that's that done. Now, third cleanse. I know you're probably thinking, you are ridiculous, but I have been wearing heavy makeup for a living, okay, for like five freaking years. And that's not even gonna count. I'm not even gonna count my modeling days. So I am well aware of what heavy makeup and just makeup in general can actually do to the skin. So trust me when I tell you, take it off. So I literally go in with like that much more product. Now what I would do after this is go in with an actual cleanser, but I'm not going to right now because I'm gonna go and put a mask on and let my skin just sit with some good moisture for a bit before bed. And don't worry about over cleansing because these are such gentle products. You really can't over cleanse. Now I go in with my actual flannel. So just like earlier, I like to put my products on damp skin. So that moisturizing mask, I'm literally going to be using the Aquaphor. I just love it. I just think it's the best thing ever. I know I look like a big greasy mess, but it is so worth it. I do this overnight, but I just I find it so uncomfortable to sleep in. I just feel like my face gets stuck. And ugh, so this works for me. Done. So I'm gonna leave that on for about an hour and then I am going to shower and that's it. My final step will be my Tretin Owen. So that is it for my three month update. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope it was not too long, but more importantly, I hope you guys found something or learn something or something positive out of this entire thing. So, as always, I have listed everything down below. Do not worry, it's all there. Also, if you have any questions about any of the products you have seen here today or anything that I have said, please just comment down below because I'm always more than happy to answer you guys. Now, if you have liked what you have seen and would like to see more, please go down and hit that subscribe button and come and join the family. And I know I said at the beginning of the video, but please hit that notification bell because you will be notified when I upload. So that is it from me today. I will see you guys next time.